Well, we got here too late. Have to go to the outside well, overflow because there's a capacity we inside. We talk about loving our neighbor and loving our country. So, folks, you know we can change the course of our country. We. You know, my, uh, we've all heard about September 11, 2012 with uh, Benghazi, but for me it started, and I didn't realize it started this until later, but it started in 2011. There was an email sent from Cindy Blumenthal to Hillary Smile. Wait a minute, there's a guy over there not smiling, I can see it. All right, are you ready to see the next president of the United States? Get those ballots in. Get those ballots in, folks. Get those ballots in. Hello back there. Hello back there. We're going to win the White House, folks. We're going to take back the White House. Thank you. Thank you. We love you all. Thank you. We are going to take it back. We're going to make America just like your beautiful hat. We're going to make America great again. I don't know if you guys are getting in. I don't know if you guys are getting in. The place is packed. But I want to thank you for being here. I want to come and see you. And I wanted to thank you, you special people. Do me a favor. Get home and get your ballot in. Who sent the ballot in? Because this state, you know, there's a question. When I hear about ballots, I don't like the idea of ballots. Ballots to me, there's trouble. There's always trouble with ballots. So if you could go home, get your ballots in, we're gonna win Colorado, we're gonna win the whole deal. Thank you everybody, I love you, thank you. God bless you everybody. God bless you, thank you. Get those ballots in. And then I walked through more dusty floors than I've ever seen in my life. But that's okay, it was worth it. That is great. So, hey, I'll tell you, we have something so important to talk about. You gotta get those ballots in, right? And I was gonna bring my political director up, but we don't have to do that, do we? Now, we have a booth right on premises, you know that. And you can go there, and you can do whatever you have to do. They'll get, if you don't have your ballot, they give you another one, and they void your one at home. And then, of course, the other side would send that one in too, but, you know, we don't do that stuff. We don't do that stuff. You know, because if you listen to President Obama, that never takes place. Except eight years ago, he was saying it did take place, right? He said it took place in Chicago. Of course, he said really good things about Obamacare, too, and that didn't work out. Remember he said you could keep your doctor, you could keep your plan. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, mm. this country. We've got the greatest country in the world, but we will make America great again, believe me. Yeah. We're gonna do it. it was just announced yesterday that the FBI yeah. is reopening their investigation into the criminal and illegal conduct of Hillary 
Clinton. since Watergate. And it's everybody's deepest hope that justice at last can be properly delivered. They hate the Clintons, I will tell you that. They hate the Clintons. They've been used. The WikiLeaks revelations have revealed a degree of corruption at the highest levels of our government, like nothing we have ever seen as a country before, including a candidate who boasts to donors about having a public position for the voters and a private position for Wall Street. Hillary put the office of Secretary of State up for sale, and if she ever got the chance, she would put the Oval Office up for sale so fast your head would spin. Well, she did it with the bedroom, right? About it. That's just a small version, though. That's, that doesn't count. That Hillary tried so desperately to destroy, even going so far as using systems that most people have never heard of. I wonder, is she going to keep Uma? Uma's been a problem. Do we agree? Uma. Uma's been a problem. I wonder if Uma's going to stay there. And I hope they haven't given Uma immunity. Because it seemed that everybody that walked down the sidewalk got immunity. I hope they haven't given Uma immunity because she knows the real story. She knows what's going on. She knows what's going on. And the sad thing is, and this is one of the things I said. How can you have all of this incredible, confidential, secret information and have your top person married to this guy? I said, that's the way life works. And everyone said, one thing has nothing to do with another. Well, it turned out it does. <laughs> it turned out it does. And this is very serious stuff. You know, General Cartwright, James Cartwright, highly respected four-star general last week, this is a four-star general. He's going to serve up to five years in prison because he lied one time, and I think he tried to lie, if you study it, for national security reasons. But he lied one time. He is going, his life has been destroyed. He's going to serve up to five years in jail. General Petraeus, as you know, for doing a tiny fraction of what Hillary Clinton has done. His life has been destroyed. The young man taking pictures of the submarine. It's a 40-year-old submarine. It's an old submarine. I think whoever wants them probably has them 30 years ago, right? But, and he shouldn't be doing it. But you've seen his mother, you've seen, I mean, the, the, the horror that people are going through. And then we allow Hillary Clinton to do what she did. And there's no retribution. And then people are complaining because they're a little bit surprised that this came up. But honestly, this whole thing should have been over with a year ago. Yeah. She is so guilty. She is so guilty. She is so guilty. At the core of my contract is my plan to bring back our jobs. Right now, 70 million American women and children live in poverty or near the brink of poverty. Hillary stays home. And then I take an hour to cut a ribbon. I want to see the job my kids did building a hotel on Pennsylvania Avenue between the White House. So I take an hour. Now she sleeps most of the time. She does very little. A tiny fraction what I do. And she said, Donald Trump went off the campaign trail to open a hotel. And by the way, an hour after that, I was in North Carolina doing this. We will make America great again. Thank you. God bless you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Get those ballots in. Get those ballots in. God bless you. Thank you.
building. Thank you.